Hello and welcome back everyone. So this week let's look into the irregular line exercises. We stopped on exercise M last week and there are still N through T to go to finish that section. So let's dive right in. In this video I wanted to show you guys my exercise sketchbook a little bit. As you can see I have been doing these exercises for some time. It's so relaxing to me that I ended up dedicating a whole book to them. I totally recommend doing that since it's so satisfying to see it all completed and together in one place. As always, I start with a fresh page with a pre-drawn 3x3 grid. So if you guys remember from last week, exercise M is a series of straight horizontal lines that start thin, go thick in the middle, and ease into a thin line once more. Just as a reminder, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I sometimes mirror the exercises because I'm left-handed. So some exercises you might see flipped, according to the way the ink dries. So if you see the images on the right side of the video, that is the right-hand way to do it, shown in the book. Exercise N is similar to M, but with two thick-to-thin variations. The tough thing on this one is making one sweeping line with the variation. I find it hard to control in one go, but pat yourself in the back every time you're able to do it. Always same as N but slantwise. I found that one of the easier to do in one full motion. So it's all about the angle and rhythm of your hand. P adds another variation to O. And by then, it's much easier to control rhythm and pressure. I think your hand just gets used to it. R is an even line exercise, meaning there isn't any variation of pressure. The idea is trying to make the lines irregular and as random as possible, without having a repetitive pattern. As we'll see in future videos, this line is really nice to create a textured, interesting, organic value once it's all combined together in a section of a drawing. But that is for the future. S takes up the line from R, but with thickness variation from thin to thick. T mirrors S from thick to thin. I like changing the length of this line sometimes to try to make more of a gradual effect. U starts thin, goes thick, and thin again. This is a good one to go really slow. So you can totally see and uh, pay attention to the control of your pressure. The more gradual it is, the nicer it will look. This one is a good one to practice in longer lines and behold the beauty of your pressure control. And that's it for this week. 
Next week we start curved lines. So until then, take care and see you soon! If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel so you get notifications every time I post a new one. This is going to be an ongoing series, so there is more to come. Thank you!